<clears throat> Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fellow, the all-star advisor on Alonzo Hall, your social media insurance broker. And I've returned today to whap and tap on your head with another ADH wealth solution. Today, I want to talk about a topic that's not superly common, which is, I want to talk about those people who call out the scammers or the grifters and the finfluencer, financial influencer communities, black, white, or otherwise. Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like Drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. So, folks, I want to talk again about those people who are calling out the It's a blessing in disguise or a gift and a curse. And why do I say this? Well, part of the thing is that calling out these online grifters or scammers, and I'm not to go there, who come online and as financial influencers and then, um, you know, cause harm to people, what ends up happening is. A couple things. One, number one, if you have a large enough platform like a Coffeezilla, Voidzilla, Spencer Cornelia, uh, JT the Pocket Watcher, Tony the Closer, right? Common Sense with Eli. Uh, echoes from above, right? Um, these kind of channels, number one, they have a large enough influence that a lot of uh, enough people watch them. The Upside is it brings awareness to the fact of the scam. The downside is it also brings awareness to the scammer. And specifically in the black community, I can't really talk about other communities because I'm not of other communities. I'm black, I'm of the black community, so I can speak from that specific perspective. But specifically in the black community, you know, you got scammers who come and they play on affinity fraud. Hey, I'm black like you, let's uh, make it happen, da 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 And you know, when other black people like JT the Pocket Watcher or Tony the Closer call them out, we get ostracized by our own community. We get told, like right now, I have somebody, I have a video explaining how Wall Street Trapper is a fraud. How can you pay $497 for his course when you can pay $497 at KaplanFinancialEducation.com and get the securities exam manual for the SIE, which is the Securities Industry Essentials, and the Series 7, which is your actual investment license, for the same price as Wall Street Trapper's Jump Off the Porch course. And yet people are like, oh, I listen to Mr. Wall Street Trapper and I'm getting a bag. But they also never tell you what that bag is. They're never like, yeah, I'm getting consistent dividends, a monthly income from this, X amount of dollars per year. That bag that they talk about is just like gambling. They put in a couple dollars and, oh, shit, I got $500 back. But it's not something that's uh, consistent or something that can be repeated. Right, so it's really not them getting that bad. But what happens is, as we call out these influencers, we actually bring attention to these influencers. Now, there's nothing wrong with calling them out and continue to call them out, but just realize that it, it does bring attention to uh, the influencers. And again, similar to like uh, you know Jay Morrison and the and the such. Um, they just get more attention brought to them 
when um, we start chronicling them, right? So you start talking about them and they're more, um, they're going to gain more notoriety. More people will notice or look them up or look for them uh, for the simple fact that you've now mentioned their name. So now uh, they're, you know, available. Wow, somebody really did sideswipe the hell out of my car. Look at this. And I gotta go get that fixed. Oh well. Still pretty, right? Gotta let the bends. At any rate, so <clears throat> what happens is they call out these influencers and you know they, they get more attention brought to them, uh, which then actually allows them to kind of operate. Um, just as skeevily as normal. Now, what often happens is when they get that attention brought to them, they're able to grift to the next thing. Um, and that's what really happens a lot of the time uh, with a lot of them too. But I think that it's important that while we're calling them out, we also point to resources where people can get legit help. So one of those things, like JT the Pocket Watcher, will tell you where you can go find a CPA, a CFP, an insurance agent, uh, whether that be property and casualty, or an insurance agent, whether that's life, health, and accidental, um, where you can find an attorney, and where you can actually look up. There's a source where licensed professionals, and I keep talking about licensed professionals, because let's let's be honest, especially in the black community, when I talk about having the license against people like Wall Street Trapper, all these black people want to be like, oh, you don't have to have the license, and Wall Street Trapper done helped out more black people than you, and it's like, no, he didn't. He might have said some things that may have been right, and because he has a larger platform than me, he's going to reach more people than me. That's kind of how that works, right? If I speak to 10,000 people about something, and someone else speaks to 10 people, the person who spoke to 10,000 people is going to affect more people. But he's also harmed more people than I have. They don't, they don't mention that, number one. Number two, if he does harm you, there's no recourse. Now, we'll have all these black folk who won't bother to go to a barber or a salon if they don't have their license, but yet you're going to go deal with somebody who's not licensed when it comes to dealing with your money. And then they'll be like, oh, well, we're going to call the FBI on Jay Morrison and, and Wall Street Trapper. Call the FBI. The FBI is going to be like, uh, there's a financial industry regulatory authority that takes care of this. Uh, did you report to them? You're going to report to the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority and they're going to be like, is this person an actual licensed uh, person practicing financial services? No. Then why did you listen to somebody who doesn't have the credentials to do something? There's nothing we can do for you. Sorry, you dummy. And that's the bad part about these influencers, because they're not licensed, and they know there's less recourse. Only recourse is you running up on them, taking your pound of flesh, which most people aren't going to do. At any rate, folks, it's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall. And I just wiped and tapped on your head with another ADH Wealth Solution. Make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass, work in progress every day and see success. And remember, folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.